Hi guys, I get quite a few questions about repairing solar rockers or solar wobblers or solar dancers, whatever you call them. Probably because I've done a few videos on repairing my own. That doesn't make me an expert, but it does mean I've seen inside quite a few of them. If it's a standard one, then when you take it apart, you've got the mechanical bits, the pendulum with a magnet on the bottom of it. there and then some sort of pendulum effect which may just be one piece moving or it may be two pieces or if it's those um, dancing flowers there's about four or five or maybe even six separate pieces that wobble around any of those kind of slipped off their rocker or the pivot point may be broken so before you decide it's going to be electronics is faulty you might just check that it is rocking around freely usually they're not glued together you can just pop them apart we'll have a look inside this one in a minute but this is what you find inside three main components the solar cell the circuit board and the coil this one's damaged Solder wise, you've got two solder points there on the back of the solar pa panel, solar cell. Two solder points there, which are the other ends of these wires. Two solder points there, which are the wires go into the coil. And in this case, this capacitor. The legs of it go through the same holes that these two wires are soldered to. So there's only four solder points on the circuit board and two solder points on the solar cell. The coil is made of very fine wire. There should only be two wires coming out of it. If you've got more than two wires coming out of it, then you've got a problem. Like this one's got at least three because the center is damaged. It's also damaged just there. It's because I've been working on it. Um, this wire is insulated. It has a coating of enamel or shellac or varnish, call it what you like. So if the wires just cross, they're not creating a short circuit. They are insulated from each other. So that's not a problem. The problem comes if you have to re-solder it because that insulation stops you soldering it. You might try and scrape the insulation off with a knife or a bit of sandpaper. Probably a waste of time. The heat of the solder, generally speaking, will burn that enamel off. And you'll be able to solder it just by holding the wire in the hot solder and it will probably work in fact sometimes when you look at these solder points here you've got a piece of wire going in and a piece of wire coming out going nowhere that's because in the factory they hold the wire across it and then dab the solder in the middle and so you've got a loose piece coming this way and the bit going to the coil Right, what might go faulty? Well, straight away, these hair thin wires, if you've dropped our friend on the floor and he's partially disassembled and this has jumped out of its little hole that it sits in, then it might have jerked the wire and it might have broken. If you're lucky, you've still got enough to reach and resolder. If it's actually broken, off the coil down here somewhere then you're probably out of luck because the chances of finding the end again if it's disappeared in there are virtually nil which is why this one I've been working on trying to find an end so if it's broken and you can resolder it all well and good if it's broken in the middle somewhere you might be able to add another little bit of wire in just to piece it out but if it's actually broken where you can't see the end anymore then you're probably out of luck you can try picking at it with a knife but you'll probably damage the rest of it 
the solar cell, if it's got a crack across it, then you might as well throw it away because you can't repair it if it's cracked. Somebody may be able to, but I'm telling you, you can't. If you've been unlucky, it's landed on its corner and it's just cracked the corner off. So the solar solder tag is blowing in the breeze. Again, you're not likely to be able to re-solder anywhere else on that board. Those solder tag points are specific. The wire may have pulled off and you can just re-solder it on, or it may have pulled off that end and you can re-solder it. Uh, so possibly solder there, 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 possibly solder there. Six potential points that might need resoldering, piecing out or something like that. I've never had one of those capacitors go faulty. It is the only surface mount piece or um, yeah, it's the, it's the only bit of the circuit that actually can be desoldered and resoldered. Um, but I've never had one of those go faulty. You can't do anything to that black blob. If you peel the black off it, it's not going to show you a, a multitude of little circuit pieces, components that you can replace. So if, if that's damaged, then you're out of luck. It's possible, I can't imagine how, but it's possible the whole circuit board may be cracked. It may have dropped on the floor and you stood on it and you got a crack right the way across it. Um, it's vaguely possible you might be able to get a bit of solder on either side of the crack and repair it. But again, I've never had that happen. So what I was going to show was, can we see if this still works? I know that coil doesn't work, but I was trying to figure out a way of demonstrating how I know it doesn't work. Um, one and a half volt battery that panel is probably producing about one and a half volts, if you're lucky, when the sun shines on it. So I was thinking if I use this coil, which is nothing like the original one, but if I just solder that on those two tags, knowing this doesn't work, and then shine the light on there, we can see if we can make this work by just sitting a magnet on it. And it should jump off. I can demonstrate that uh, if I stick that down so it doesn't move around. Put that on there, get hold of these. Put that over there somewhere. There we go. Put it the other way up and it should jump off. Yeah, there we go. So if I solder that onto there, we should be able to demonstrate that circuit board still works. Right, a bit of a break in continuity here because I've changed my mind what I'm going to do. I couldn't get the result I wanted to demonstrate using that coil. So we're going to use the one that's inside this rocker. So, standard solar rocker. Sometimes they're glued together, but usually they're just a push fit. So take it apart carefully. So there's our coil. There's our solar panel, and there's our circuit board. Don't go pulling it out or you'll pull the wires and might break them. We can move it a bit, but don't just pull it over here somewhere to work on it. Right, if I put a magnet on there and put the light on it, well, because I suppose we could have done this first to make sure it works. Uh, right, can we see anything? Let's refocus the light. Come on. Okay. If we just put him over the top, he might work. Is 
that just because I put him down? He's probably a bit too high up to actually register. Can we put him around the other way? not near enough. I know what we can do. Let's modify this one. Right, we should be able to put him over the top. So we know it works. What we want to do now, take that light away again. And see if we can demonstrate him working by putting a battery where the solar panel is. Okay, so we know that the circuit is working. Um, I suppose I could zoom in on that a little bit. Right, that's a bit easier. So he's not rocking, putting a battery positive to positive on there. So we know the circuit is working all the way through from the solar panel to the coil. Wait for him to stop moving. And now, if we just go directly on the end of the coil, he won't rock, but he should jump out the way. There we go. So, here we can test whether the coil is okay. Just stop again. So by going on these two tags, we're checking the coil. And going on these two tags, we're checking the whole circuit. That's probably the easiest way of demonstrating, rather than what I was going to do, which was very complicated. Using that circuit board, that coil, or that coil. That was a waste of time. Too complicated, much easier just to demonstrate like that. So, if you connect, and we're just talking a one and a half volt battery here, nothing more than that. On this particular circuit board, there's actually a little plus sign just there. I'll zoom in in a minute. So that's where your positive of your battery goes, and the other one must be the negative. So say so he doesn't, he is rocking, but he's only rocking because I've given him a pulse. He won't keep rocking unless you do that. If you just hold it on there, it's a, a continuous bit of magnetism and it's going to hold him still, as you can see. And then if you go on here, you're proving the circuit all the way through from the solar panel. I should have done that to begin with. That was a much easier way of demonstrating. So if it doesn't work, if you get no reaction when you're going on those two tags, then you've got a problem with the coil. And if you get no reaction when you go on those two tags, then you've got a problem with the circuit board, which could be anywhere between 
those wires it could be those solder tags are disconnected the wire is broken but you're checking the solar side of the circuit board and if you're going on there you're just checking the coil you will stop again in a minute yeah there we go and if I turn him carefully is there enough light from that not really just about enough light from that light over the other side of the room there which is just a LED light whereas this one I'm just going to turn the light on right and that's going off my halogen light which gives the right sort of light for solar rockets to work back to darkness Right, there we go. Just for completeness, I'll put them back together again. Light going on. There we go. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.